Greetings crapplers, welcome to Judo for Jiu Jitsu. My name is Larry Keith and this is Brian Powers. And in this video, we're going to be talking about Tawara Gaishi, which is rice bag turning, and Kibisu Gaishi, which is a heel reversal. So we're addressing a front headlock position. So in this case, Brian and I are gripped up. Maybe I've popped his grip loose. When I come over the top of his head, his arm comes through and I'm grabbing his right behind his triceps. So my right hand is right behind his right triceps. From this position here, um, that can happen from a variety of reasons. Maybe he's coming in for a double or single leg, whatever, or maybe I initiated it. I like to set it up this way. So I get from here and I pop in. Now I have easy access to this leg right now because it's forward. So from here, I'm gonna move into my Tawara Gaishi. So it's a little bit of a cheek. It's a little bit different than your, um, your traditional Tawara Gaishi. I'm gonna hook his leg really deep with my wrist. And I'm gonna step in close to him and I'm basically gonna sit down on my heels. As I do this, he goes up and over. From here, I still got a hold of the arm. I roll up, I feed through, and I get my darts. So again, we're here, I pop his grip loose, I come over the top of his head, feed the arm through, and I've got my front headlock. His right leg is sticking forward, easy access for me. I step in, I squat down, I'm gonna sit down on my heels. I hook deep, wrist deep, behind his leg. Sometimes I'll even connect my hands, but in this case, I'm just hooking the leg. Hook the leg, sit, he goes over the top. I keep a hold of his arm, Roll up, feed my hand through, and get my darts. So another angle on to our Gaishi. So from here, I pop this grip loose. I get my control of his head and arm. I grab behind his leg, hook wrist deep, and I bring in my feet. And I sit my, my bottom down to my heels. So here, here. And then from here, you can see I have control of his arm still. He can't get away from me. I roll up. I feed my left hand through where my right hand was. And then scroll down for the dars. So the other option, once I pop the trip loose, I get the front headlock on him. I go for this leg. He gets it out of the way. That gives me access to the other leg. So I drop down. I hook behind his heel. I pull it, I make him sit down. Now from here, I can come up into the dars, or if he decides he wants to be aggressive and come up, I catch him with a half guard, and I finish with an arm triangle position. Right, so let's change our angle on that a little bit. We'll go this way. So again, we're here. I pop the grip loose. I get control of the head and arm. He gets this leg out of the way. I catch the foot, nibble, pick it, he sits down right here. It's where he's likely to swing his other leg and come up. I'll catch him in the half guard and I'll finish the strangle. So I'm just catching like a guillotine. His arm is in. All I have to do is squeeze and arch just a little bit. Okay, for, so from this angle, got the grips. I break his grip loose. I drop down over his head like I'm going to do a guillotine, but I throw the arm across. I grab his arm. So this could also happen if he's grabbing a single leg. I can grab his arm. Right? So here, get the arm front headlock. I reach for his right leg. He gets it out of the way. So now, I drop down. I just pull his heel up underneath him. He sits down, right? Now I could just go from here right into the dars, but sometimes the opponent's a little too quick in the scramble, and he comes up. I catch him with the half guard, and I finish the strangle. Lock down, extend. So that was Tawara Gaishi and Kibisu Gaishi. So Tawara Gaishi means rice bag reversal. Kibisu Gaishi means a, a heel reversal, right? So it's like a heel pick, ankle pick type, type of throw. Uh, both of those done from a front headlock position. Really a good position in jiu-jitsu. The opponents are down. It's pretty easy to get a head snap and get that front headlock uh, or catch somebody when they're coming in for a double or single. You sprawl on them, you can catch that. Great techniques for jiu-jitsu. Both of them, I think, are banned in, in modern judo. 
If you find value in this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to our channel and click on the notification tab so you don't miss any future videos. And remember, when you learn one technique, you know one technique. When you learn one concept, you know a thousand techniques. So until next time, we'll see you on the flip side.